Hi, I'm 1450 WJER's Bill Morgan inviting you to join me on television Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 for TV2 Sports Talk. Sports Talk is your weekly look inside high school football, volleyball, soccer, and more. Look for guest appearances from your favorite area coaches and players. TV2 Sports Talk, Wednesday evenings at 7 and Friday afternoons at 5 on DMG Channel 2 on Time Warner Cable. My name is Danielle. I'm a 2000 graduate from Buckeye Career Center Health Occupation Program, which helped me get my job here at Union Hospital on the pediatric floor as a registered nurse. We are Buckeye Career Center graduates. Buckeye Career Center helped my family get the training and education they needed to start our careers. We're, We're Buckeye, Buckeye Career Center graduates. I'm Rod. Upon graduation of Buckeye Career Center, they helped me find a job. Adults who return to Buckeye Career Center to continue their education usually have one goal in mind. They want the opportunity for a better job. The fact is, adult education programs at Buckeye Career Center are less expensive and provide greater opportunities for job placement following graduation. It's your future. Get the facts. Buckeye Career Center. We put people to work. Find out more about your future at BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Hi, I'm Tiffany and welcome to TV2's Off the Record. Today I'm here with the Tuscarawas River Band. How you doing guys? Excellent. Good. Yeah. Pretty good. Thanks Pretty for good. coming in. Thank, you, Thank uh, you for having us. Kind of a cold, dreary day out today, isn't it? Beautiful. Yes, it is. You Beautiful. like it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to warm up and liven up some things with uh, some tunes today. So why don't you start by introducing yourselves? We got I'm Corey you. McCahill. I'm Brian Johnson. I play the drums. Jamie McCahill. Now. You two are related? Oh, all three all related. of us. Oh, you're all three related. Okay. Yeah. So there's no getting out of the band. What's the relation? Uh, Corey's my brother, These my younger are, brother. Yeah, brothers. I'm a cousin. Our moms are sisters. Oh, okay. So, gotcha. All yeah. right. And our bass player's not here. He's kind of a cousin, long distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Bill's here. Bill the Presti. Well, he's here in spirit. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. So um, now, how did you form the band? Jamie. Uh, we, uh, I don't know, kind of got an idea back in the day when we were kids playing around and then uh, we decided, uh, it's kind of a long drawn out story, but uh, kind of started out in Texas playing some music down there and then migrated back to Colorado, then back to Ohio wow. and uh, the rest of the story's just been an adventure the whole time. Are you from this area? Yeah, grew okay. up in Tuscarawas County. Okay, so great. yeah, beautiful area. So. Absolutely. Never thought I'd come back here and uh, here migrated are. back here and here we are and you know, I mean. No place like home. No, there isn't. <laughs> There's no place like home and, and it's a nice area. It's a very mm -hmm. nice area. Now, what is your style of music and why the choice in the style? Go ahead, Brian. You know, we do quite a wide range of styles, um, anywhere from gospel music to rockabilly, rock and roll. Um, mm -hmm. We do a lot of originals, so we have our own taste in there. But we are definitely different than any other band you know, around here. Because right. um, with the, the majority of our music is originals. So when you yeah. come out and see us, you're gonna hear the stuff that we wrote together. 
Great, awesome. And um, we yeah, love, it's we love the bluegrass. Yeah, we do feel. the bluegrass feel, oh, bluegrass kind of the rockabilly fun. kind of yeah. style, and um, yeah, we. Uh, but we're all we always try to keep changing, evolving, you know, because it, it's it's hard to, uh, I guess we we don't want to be labeled as one style. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I mean, you hear a reggae song, or you hear like Brian's at a gospel song, or. Uh, uh, a heavy metal song it grabs you and you're like there man they they got it so you kind of try to incorporate everything into your style of playing which i think keeps you growing and you you never keeps try to become fresh. stagnant yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's the main thing is not becoming stagnant right. and enjoying everything yeah, and i you think play. that's why we do a lot of originals because we get to do what we want yeah right. you're I mean, we love doing covers and pleasing the crowd and whoever's there but you know we mainly really love to express our you know, art yeah you know, expressing that's what amazing. we do together, we have, you know, there's a family bond here on top of that, you know, mm -hmm. our talents that God gave us and with music, it's been pretty enjoyable for us. Yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you have any albums? Uh, actually, we just, we've had some live recordings that have never really worked. I mean, they've, they've been good, go. but we were uh, <laughs> just in the studio all winter. Uh, it. Rod uh, Short. Yeah, Rod Shorts. It's a good winner to be in the studio. It was a great winner to be in the studio, <laughs> and we had a lot of fun in there, and we actually took our time, and we came out with this album. We're really pleased with it. It kind of captured our energy, which we've always wanted to do, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just a really good time. So we've been selling them at our shows, and uh, or you can get online or get with one of us, and we're glad to get you know let you pass the music on to let you hear it and see what you think. Okay, that was my next question. Where can we get the music? Do you sell them at your shows? We sell them at our shows, okay. and we also, like I said, you can get on Facebook. I mean, Facebook's everything. <laughs> and Yeah, that's the big thing right now. And ask for us, and we'll get you one out as quickly as we can. Great, so. awesome. Yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Now, um, what's the most challenging part about recording an album? You say this is your first one, right? Right. Uh, Time. time and getting everybody together. <laughs> time management. Yep. Time management. Um, as we get yeah. older, you know, we have families and mm -hmm. you know jobs and you know, so we try and get it in there when we can. But uh, right. we made it happen last winter, so I think that's going to be something for us every winter at least. You know, throw some you know new, yeah. new music go, on yeah. some discs. So well, from what I hear, this winter is going to be almost as bad. So oh right. yeah. yeah, it's going to be Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you hope to record more? So, yes, we're, you're hoping in the future you're going to have some more. Yeah, absolutely. So. We have a lot of original music to get out there, that's for sure, Good. that hasn't been put on desk. So. Do you play them at your shows? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. yep. cool. Um, now, what instruments do each of you play? I play guitar. guitar. I'm the drummer. Guitar. And I'm rhythm guitar. Okay. So. And the other one? Billy is bass. Billy is bass. Bill Lepresti. He Bill plays okay. bass. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, where do you get your inspiration for your lyrics and your sound? Everyday life. Okay. Yep. In, in, in past journeys, I guess. And, uh, I, yeah, I mean, just everything you've seen and done. And then, you know, you flip on the news and you see what's going on in the world. And you're, you know, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of stuff where you're like, wow, it's, it's a crazy world. Mm -hmm. It's a very crazy world. Indeed it is. Um, now, you said you started basically when you're kids, so you've been involved in music for quite a while. Have there been any other ventures, uh, high school band, anything like that? Yeah, Ever? I yeah I played at, you know in bars when I was 18. Oh wow, great. Um, you know I was in the band for till you know my freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, Joan Wentzel, she taught me a few things. Other than that, you know just you know we pretty much self-taught ourselves. Oh, that's great. And uh, we had our mother sing, so there's some, that's you know, cool. some, our some grandma, blood. Our grandpa yeah. played the blues. That is awesome. So yeah. we wanted to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, absolutely. Great. And once, yeah, once you get the music bug in you, it's hard to get rid of it. Oh, wow, yeah. Love so it. you got some shoes to fill, and you're, you're well on your way. Yeah, yeah. So, um, now, what venues do you play? All Tuscarawas County, or have you been outside the county, state? You said... We actually, when we were early, when we, the band first started, uh, it was rocking and rolling and we were bouncing around. We, uh, we were doing the country and we started in a van and mm. we were doing 300 shows a year. And we started out with grassroots just by word of mouth, 
going to places, setting up for free, mm -hmm. playing, booked our own tour, and it started to, the ball started to roll. And next thing you know, when we went back to Colorado, um, we had a lot of connections in Colorado. I, we knew, I knew a lot of people. I lived out there for right, a long right. time. And uh, they, I mean, Colorado's a rock and music state. I mean, they're all about live music. And uh, so it, it went, it really gave us inspiration to keep it going. Then we came right. back to Ohio and hitting the college scenes. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we play wherever. And like Brian said, it, it's a little harder now because we have so much going on in our lives right. that we, mm -hmm. we, we try to play Tuscross County, but we don't want to overplay it. So, uh, you know, you try to just do a venue, you know, around here. We just played Bud and Tootie's last weekend. Mm -hmm. Had a great turnout, had a great show. Uh, we got to do the St. Joe Music, or the St. Joe Festival this right. year. Mm -hmm. First time I'd ever been there. And oh, had wow. a great time, had oh, a great yeah. turnout. It was kind of rainy that day, and still it's there still was fun. a fun yeah. time. And uh, so we're, and we'd like to get more involved in the music festivals around the area, uh, rather, you know, be bopping in, because right. we have kids now and they can come and they can enjoy it and they have fun. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we try to do whatever we can. We, yeah. we try to do whatever we can. Awesome. So. Well, when we come back, we're going to have a few more fun questions for the guys, and later they'll be playing a little something for us, so don't go anywhere. WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Welcome back everyone to TV2's Off the Record. I'm Tiffany and we are here with the guys in TRB and we're going to ask them here a few more questions before they play a little something for us. So uh, to continue on, uh, where would you like to play someday? What is your dream venue? Oh. <laughs> Red Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll agree, Red Rocks. Okay. Red Rocks would be pretty sweet. Yeah, that okay. would be yeah. Yeah. Is that a venue? Is that a city? Uh, outside of Denver. It's actually okay. built in the rocks. Is and if built? you've ever been there, okay, it's been. Uh, all yeah. awe-inspiring. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, big uh, sandstone, big red sandstone yeah, the rocks. Backdrop is natural acoustics yeah. just off the Ooh, rock. Nice. Yeah, be I saw the Allman Brothers there. saw String Cheese there. <laughs> saw the uh, Doobie Brothers saw there. saw the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Yeah, well, great. you piqued my interest. I definitely need to oh. check that out. I need yeah. to go out west. I've never been out west. So oh, I'm definitely, out that's on my yeah. list of places to go so far. Okay, so um, so far, what has been the most interesting show for you and why? Go ahead, brother. <laughs> no, brother. I would say uh, this year at Clay's Park. We went up to Clay's oh, Park okay. and, and played, and it was our first time. It was over the 4th of July mm -hmm. weekend, and we didn't know what to expect. We went into it, and it was one of the best shows we ever had. We Great. were full of energy, mm -hmm. and the people just, they gave us energy. We really right. gave them a good show. Cool, that's really cool. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a really nice venue up there. They yeah, that was a good time. Up there and everything, so. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they really enjoyed it, and we're, yeah. It was, yeah. good, it was a good show. There's a lot show. of big shows up there, too, so they it's do. great that you were able to go up there and play. Yeah. I was never been to Clay's Park, either, my mm -hmm. first time. I was floored at how many people were there. Right. I mean, it was, uh, cool. yeah, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, way Yeah, it's cool. a big place. Big place. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the best part about playing a live show? What's your favorite part during the live show? Crowd interaction. Right. I mean, that's... Yeah, that feedback. Yeah. When energy. We get, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're giving mm -hmm. that energy, getting that feedback, and... 
and getting to play with these guys. I love it. Oh, yeah. Every time. Absolutely. That should be the best part. <laughs> Well, it, it is, to but, but you know, it's fun to get that <laughs> when oh, you're yeah. bouncing back, you know, yeah, I mean, it, if you're not, if you're passing the ball and, and they're not passing it back, well, yep, you can absolutely. only play pitch and catch for so yeah. long to where it's like, oh, I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, how often do you practice? Uh, we, we were practicing hard uh, this winter. We were doing almost, we we're doing two days a week. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, yeah, we were staying pretty busy. Yeah, we were. Our wives were being very uh, tolerant of that Good. because that's hard to, it like is. you said, that's it really is. Saying, <laughs> yeah. hard, yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, you it know, it time, does, yeah. it does, Absolutely man, it takes it a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, well, I guess a woman or a man that marries into a band, you're marrying into a band. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. that's what you got into. Mind, <laughs> <Never> mind. <laughs> um, now, do you have a fan base? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a pretty good fan base. Pretty widespread, too. I mean, just cool. from the foot traffic out west and south and east. Nice. And, but, right, right, and here. right here in Ohio. I mean, this is All where we are from. Too. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. My kids love our songs. Yeah. That's great. They sing them. <laughs> I'm like, Doesn't that feel cool? Play that river song. And, yeah. And <laughs> we're, we were playing up in Canton uh, last uh, winter, and we had 75 year old people up dancing. And it was nice. like, oh, that's good. It was awesome. The thing is, we try to respect the venue wherever we're playing mm -hmm. on the volume, mm -hmm. because you don't want to be too loud. And I don't like going and watching loud bands. I want to be able to sit and talk and still hear right. great music. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing, I think. And if you can do that and and balance that, then people really respond to you really well. And that's great and, that you uh, think of that. Yeah. yeah, well, you have to because, like I said, you've been to places where the band's so loud, you're like, oh, my gosh, my ears are ringing. i got to get <laughs> out of here. But when you're right. – you, you don't have to be very loud to be good. Mm -hmm. The softer you are, the better it is, I think. And, mm -hmm. and then people want to get closer to you, and, and then they're up dancing. They're having a great right. time. And when you see 75-year-old women up dancing, you're like, this is awesome because <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's at. I yeah, mean, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you guys get to do anything outside of the band together? We're family. Um, we can't yeah, get we away see from each other all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> these guys do, and then I kind of. Yeah. yeah. We do a lot of rafting and kayaking together. Yeah, we float oh, the river. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do that. So that's camping. That's river, right? we're definitely, we're definitely yeah. river people. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely river people. Um, what are some of your hobbies in your free times other than just? Canoeing, river rafting, camping, anything like that? Yeah, we love the outdoors, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, being outside, anything yep. with that. I can tell that. And our kids and families. I mean, that's okay. our newest. The main focus, focus. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, here's a fun one. Uh, what do you guys have in your CD player right now or your MP3 player? What's playing right now? Steve Earle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a little mixtape action, so it's got a little bit of everything, but you know, pretty much a lot of funk, classic soul, nice. mixtape. Yeah. I got Christina Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got the soul going on over there. Sweet. <laughs> um, now, what is your favorite song of all time? Song or artist? Wow, that's putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about that. I would have to say Led Zeppelin, Braun Yarn Stomp, 74. Okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. What you got, boy? <laughs> yeah, I'm, got, I was going to say Led Zeppelin, you know, but uh, I mean, for me, I guess, even like classic oldies, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. That's a tough question. Uh, um, mine's a lot. Clapton. Okay. I'm a Clapton fan. Yeah. I mean, for my favorite artist is probably Eric. Yeah. Because he just smokes. I mean, he's just smooth. Yeah. You I know? agree. And he's gotten, I mean, he's he's like wine. He's gotten better with age. <laughs> mm. nice. You know, I mean, yeah. just, yeah. yeah. Like the older he gets, he's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. What's this guy got to do next? Yeah. So. Um, now, what about your songs? What is a fan favorite of your song? Uh, the River song that's on the new album okay. is doing really well. People have that really spaceship, related to yeah, it. I've had and a Spaceship. Lot of spaceship. spaceship. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. written last year. Yeah. Uh, it was. It's uh, just a fun song uh -huh. about seeing the spaceship. 
Cool. So. Hey. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. We've <laughs> all seen the spaceship once or twice. Yeah. That happens. I haven't. I swear. Maybe you need to open your eyes a little more. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look up every once in a while, right? Yeah. Uh, uh. Now, what advice would you have for some people that are trying to form a band? Um, if they're looking for other members to start out, what what advice would you have for them? What qualities would they look for? What I guess look for people that you can hang out with. Right. Right. I mean, that's the main thing because you're going to be spending a lot of time with exactly, them. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, because you, you're going to be able to you know have to criticize each other and yes. you yeah. know, have ideas and you know if if you can get past that point then. Mm -hmm. You know, there's if you can handle constructive criticism, you need to be able to dialogue yeah. back and forth. Other, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, it's it's tough. It'd be tragedy. Tough. Play open mics. Uh, right. Bun Tooties has a good open mic on Thursday night. Right. Zach Barlo hosts it. Does okay. It real well. Yeah, I mean, you, but that's the main thing. It's just being able to click with each other. You know, I mean, just like a good basketball team or football team, you, you got to be able to click with each other. You're not you're mm -hmm. not going to do anything. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, any other bands or artists that you haven't performed uh, with that you would like to here in the future? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Who do you guys, who would you want to play with? I would love uh, to play with Fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fish. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah you can say that. That's cool. Yeah, right. yeah. The list goes on and on and on. Yeah, Panic would be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, the list goes on and on. Well, that's good. I mean, you want to keep your options open. And right. You never know where you're going to go. Right. You never mm -hmm. know, especially when you have your own, your original music, and you can really move up and go from there and grow. That's what you try to do. All right. Yeah. So uh, how can your fans look you up? Facebook. Yeah, Tuscross River Band. Yeah. So you just look up Tuscarars, T-R-B, yes. on and, Facebook. And we'll pop up. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Um, now, do you have any upcoming live shows that we, sh we should know about? Uh, not at this time. Uh, I mean, we do it's kind of. Hall Kevin. Hall, when is that? Um, the end of every month. Oh, okay. Dover Prowl, Hall Kevin. Yeah. We, we sit. Yeah, we sit and play an acoustic show. Oh, okay. Just on a Sunday night, let's mm -hmm. kick back, relax, really chill atmosphere, mm -hmm. and we usually have a really good time. Uh, like I said, it's just mainly acoustic, kicking back, relaxing. Right. So for a Sunday evening. Come up, Tip, have some wings. Hey, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you uh, play any special events, like benefits or anything like that? Yeah, when yeah. we're asked. We, okay. uh, you know, you just gotta get a hold of us and we're always willing to. Yeah, we do to... weddings and. Cool. Bar mitzvahs. Yes, we've done them, I mean. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, if someone wants to contact you um, in order to schedule you, schedule you for a show, just get a hold of you on Facebook. That's about the easiest way. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Absolutely. Just keep that in mind, everybody. If you want them to play an event or a benefit or anything, just uh, look them up on Facebook. Um, now, when we come back, the guys are going to be playing a little bit something for us. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm John Maselli and I would like to welcome you to the Sunnyside Store Restaurant. Since 1999, we have served over 500,000 meals. We specialize in steak, pasta, and the patron special, ribs. The Sunnyside Store is located at 5495 North Worcester Avenue in Peral. Hours are Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday, we open at 9 a.m. for breakfast. For more information or to schedule an event in the banquet room for groups of 40 or smaller, call 330-364-5474. This is John Maselli inviting you to the Sunnyside Store Restaurant. Oh, it's 